Hello y'all, welcome to my channel, guess what it is, it's Muse Kids time, I am so excited to show you October's Muse Kids, get it out, get it out, let's see what we got, there's just so much stuff in here, it's packed, let's see what the magazine says. What is a muse? Pen and ink, yes! We're working with pen and ink. The four prompts, jack-o'-lantern, grim reaper, werewolf and skull. I am loving where this theme is going. The challenges and looky looky over here. Who is this? Who is this? That's my picture, guys. I made it. Yay! I made it into the magazine. Of course, Lizzie made it too. Hello there, Lizzie. She is awesome. This is her link to her page. Go visit her. Got some candy. Let's put it away. You all know I don't eat any candy. Put it in here, it's getting jam-packed. I think it's time to give it to my children. We got a technical pen with some refills, a Muse Kids book some ink color pencils let's see what this ink is all about mm. some yummy markers let's open up this book it has me guessing wondering it's a prompt book guys oh wow every single day in october has a prompt Ooh, I see already some that I really like. Evil Baby. Hmm. Yay. We got a deep pen. I have been wanting one of these for a long, long time. And I bought one and it didn't work. This one works wonderfully. Look at that. This is our swatchy book. And let's label our spread. Muse Kids. for the month of October 2023. Let's place our sticker and let's begin our swatchy swatchy my friends. And this is everything. Let's see what we can create with our four prompts. I have sketched out this picture right here and this other picture right here. The werewolf, the jack-o'-lantern, the skull. And just like that, I transferred it to a different paper. And without any more delay, let's create.
It is impressions time, my friends. Let's begin with my least favorite part of this box. Not to say that I don't like the box itself. The box was perfect. I love this box. And the reason I keep subscribing to Muse Kids is because they provide everything. Exactly everything so you can work on the projects. So my least favorite was the Colorista Perfect Portrait Set and they they were quality color pencils but they weren't Prismacolor quality color pencils or Posca quality color pencils which I didn't expect for them to be but I'm not a color pencil connoisseur I am not a color pencil uh, artist so I may have not known how to use them and that's okay. My next least favorite was the metal drafting pencil or uh, the mechanical pencil. Um, it felt great on my hand and once again the Muse Kids is just trying to provide everything that you need to work and in my opinion I didn't need a drafting pencil I have lots of them but I love that uh, they included it for those who are new to the box and for those who are trying out the box they would have everything they need to work I liked a lot that they included the lid for the drafting pencil because it's a 9 mm and those are hard to find Everything else is a 10 plus. I absolutely love the glass dip pen and the Zig Sumi ink. I loved working with those. I it made me think that I don't need any fine liner anymore. I have lots of fine liners and I always struggle working with the glass dip pen and the ink was spectacular. The Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers were super, super awesome. I owned some before and they are still in my good list. My list of good stuff. The, what else, what else did we get? Oh, oh, the Muse Kids Spooky Daily Art Prompt Book. It was the cutest thing. I did not work on every single prompt, but I chose the ones that I wanted to work on. Uh, I didn't have time to complete every single one. The paper quality was fantastic. It was very nice, thick paper, just like I like it. It was perfect to work with the markers. It, it didn't bleed through at all nice and then uh, it was just a very nice quality book this was a very well put together box thank you Muse Kid and this is all my friends I hope you enjoyed this video I will see you next time goodbye